Hi guys, this is Sadek from Webin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Watchdog ROM based on Android 16 onto OnePlus 11. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and let's get started. So first and foremost, you have to download the Android SDK platform tools from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You may extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I branched on C drive and as you could see, these are the files of platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, now enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. So for that, Go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, you have to scroll down to the section of about device. Then go to version and tap on version number seven times. Once that is done, go back. Again, go back. Go to system and updates, dev options. And from here, please enable OEM locking as well as USB debugging. Once that is done, go to the platform tools folder, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch CMD inside the folder of platform tools as you could see over here. Now type in ADB devices and verify that you ha are having an ID. If you're not having any ID or if you're showing as offline keyword, not a cause of any concern, simply unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Likewise also, disable and re-enable USB debugging once again. Now type on OK. You might get one more prompt, again type on Allow and let's now verify what happens. And now you could see we are now having the ID as well as the device keyword. If that's all well and good, then let's move on with the next step. If you are still having any issue, then open the environmental variable from start menu. Open it, click on again environmental variables. Then from here, go to system variables, choose path, click on edit, new, and paste the part of platform tools over here. As you could see in my case, this is the path of platform tools. I have added the path over here. Then click on OK, again OK, and once again OK. And now verify that you're having this ID. Moving on, you now have to unlock the phone's bootloader as well. Unlocking the bootloader will wipe off all the data. So please take a backup beforehand. And now you may have a look at my article and get the job done. In short, simply boot the phone to the fastboot mode and then use the fastboot flashing unlock command. You'll then get a prompt on your phone. So use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. With this, the bootloader will be unlocked. And then please make sure to re-enable USB debugging once again. Once that is done, you will now have to download the ROM zip file as well. So from here, download the ROM file and the partition file. Okay, one more thing, the ROM comes in two variants. First one is the recovery one and and one is the fastboot build and the second is the recovery build. The easiest one is to flash the fastboot ROM. Still, I'll show you both the approach. So in this regard, download the ROM file for both if you want. But for now, I'm advising you to please. So please download the ROM file for the fastboot ROM only. It's quite easy. Let me show you. This, where you, you see the fastboot keyword, it's a fastboot ROM. In that case, you, you only need the ROM and nothing else. But if you're using a recovery ROM, for example, this is the recovery ROM with no fastboot keyword in this ROM name. So in that case, you also have to download all these five files as well. Let me show you the recovery vendor boot, DTBO boot and the VB meta. Please don't use this file. These five files are only required if you're using the recovery ROM, which is this one. Let me show you. This is the recovery ROM. In case of fastboot ROM, you don't need any of these files because the files are there inside the ROM only. So for now, I'll show you how to flash the fastboot ROM. In that case, I already have the ROM file. And once you've got the ROM zip file, Copy the file from here and transfer the file inside the folder of platform tools. Let's transfer it over here. So let's wait for a few more seconds. So moving on with the next step. So we are done till here. Okay, now you have to boot up onto the fastboot mode as well. Open the CMD window. Type in the command of ADB, reboot, boot order and hit enter. The phone should not reboot into fastboot mode. This will take a few seconds. So let's wait for that to happen. And once it's in the fastboot mode, please type in the command of fastboot devices. Let me show you that as well. So now type in the command fastboot devices. Okay, the CMD window is taking somewhat time longer because we have a file being copy pasted as you could see. So give it a few more seconds for the file to be transferred and then we will move ahead with the next step. So guys, the ROM is not transferred as you could see over here. For the ease of convenience, let's rename it to something shorter. Okay, once again, I'm repeating, it's the fastboot ROM as you could see. It's a fastboot ROM and not the recovery ROM. So for now, I'll show you how to flash the fastboot ROM. And at the end, I'll show you how to flash the recovery, recovery ROM as well. But for now, I'm using the fastboot ROM. So for the ease of convenience, let's rename it to something shorter. So let's rename it to ROM and the complete name becomes ROM.zip. So moving on, our phone is inside the fastboot mode. And now you have to flash the ROM as well. So first, let's flash the fastboot build. In this regard, your first action is to do a phone formatting. So for that, type in the command fastboot space dash W hit the enter key. The formatting will take a few seconds. Once that is done, you may then flash the ROM zip file as well. So let's first wait for the formatting to complete. Once that is done, now type in the command of fastboot, update, space, 
टाइप इन द कमांड ऑफ रॉम डॉट जेप एंड दैट इज जस्ट इट लेट मी वेरीफाइड वन पासबुक्स अपडेट रॉम डॉट जेप हिट द एंटर की द फ्लैशिंग विल नॉट स्टार्ट टेक अप टू अराउंड फोर टू फाइव मिनट्स सो लेट्स फिर वेट फॉर दैट टू कम्प्लीट वाई द फ्लैशिंग इज गोइंग ऑन यू फोन विल ऑटोमेटिकली बुट टू द फास्टबुक डी मोड एज वेल एज यू को सी इन माई केस माई फोन विल नॉट बुट टू द फास्टबुक डी मोड फॉर द फ्लैशिंग टू कम्प्लीट प्लीज डोंट यूज द फोन फॉर नाउ लेट द फ्लैशिंग गो ऑन सो गाइज द फ्लैशिंग इज नॉट डन एज सुन एज दैट हैपन्स यू फोन विल ऑटो बुट टू दस एज यू कुड सी यू डोंट हैव टू यूज एनी थिंग जस्ट फ्लैश द रॉन्ग फाइल बाय द स्क्रिप्ट एंड वन दैट इज डन द फोन विल बुट टू दस automatically so let's wait for that to happen and the first booting will take up some time that's all normal and nothing to worry about so let's keep a track of that as well and with this we are now inside the setup screen so let's get started the app also come with the g apps the, the rom comes with the g apps if you want you may link the wifi then link your google account and restore all the app data for now i'm skipping all of that just to speed up the process of the rom setup let's me skip this as well except the terms and condition Just the navigation start, and with this we now inside the Android 16 build of the ROM. So let me see what all is Android 16 style. Well, 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 it's still the Android 15, not the 16. Settings menu is also Android 15 only, and and anything else. Okay, the Android version is Sony has Android 16, and the ROM is in a partnership with Evolution X ROM, as you could see. They both come together, but apart from the Android version change, I cannot really see major changes in the ROM for Android 16 build. Although it's still in a beta state, but there had to be some changes for Android 16. Let me see the clocks. Okay, the menus are changed somewhat. I suppose. Okay, yes, this menu has been changed, but the tweaks are still for Android 15 only. All these toggles are for Android 15 as well. It's not for Android 16. Apart from the slider, I cannot see anything else. that is changed for now so it's quite su surprising i don't know why that's the case although you may also have a look at all the tweaks from here as you might be aware you may change the themes from here okay so we have to enable this toggle sorry for that i saw it first time after enabling this i suppose you will now get the new ui and now let me see well well again i have to do a restart i suppose after going to theme enabling this design which is for android 16 brightness color style and what six okay i have to now do a restart please give me a second i suppose after that only this will take into effect so let's see what happens now so we are now inside the os let me now see what has changed if something has changed or not qs style is same as before the settings menu is also currently the same as before i don't know what exactly is happening with this rom because it's was and okay something has changed then that is the menu toggle has changed and apart from that i suppose that sli the slider for the menu will also be changed notification as you could see the slider was already android 16 and now we also have these menu style for android 16 style so for now we only have these two fe features let me see the clock style for in android 16 we have a new clock style as well home settings okay not the home settings i guess it should be in the wallpaper and style the clock style in the lock screen is the same as before currently it's no change for the clock as well and i cannot see any major change just two changes are there in the brightness slider it's also android 15 only so the only two change which i could see are the toggle and the slider and that's just about it i i know it's quite an early stage it's still in the testing phase but just a toggle and the menu bar for android 16 is so with that said you may also have a look at some of these feature as well clock face and you might already be aware of all these features my main intention was to check the android 16 style but that's not something which i could see you could also add all the widgets on the home screen as well from here and you already are aware of now bar okay that's also there i guess it's the one ui 7 feature which is there on this rom as you could see over here is somewhat downside so i have to i guess do a ui restart and after that if i do the lower the height Okay, okay, it's going for for the down. I have to increase the height, and now it's fine. So please increase the height of this. This is from the one UI seven, as I might be aware of. Also add the AOD and all such styles. So all of these you are you are already aware of. You may also add the fingerprint from here. Okay, let me verify if the fingerprint is working or not. And these are all the Android fifteen styles only. 
So for now still in the beta stage, as and when it goes in the alpha state, in the stable state, I'll make an update as well. You may have a look at my article for the new steps and the new thing. If there's any change, I will write it over here only for the new changes. Okay, apart from that, you may also obtain root on this ROM via the kernel SU. You just have to install the kernel SU app onto your phone. So for that, let's first go to my download section from here. Download the kernel SU app and then install the app onto your phone. That's just about it. The APK file, click on show all asset and scroll down and you will then get the APK file over here, somewhat over here. Kernel SU, this is the APK file. So get the APK file from here. Click on start download. Transfer the file onto your phone. Change it to file transfer. Okay, it's already on. Well, that's quite great to see. Then downloads and from here copy the APK file, transfer the file over here onto your phone and launch the files app, anyone will do. Then simply allow, got it, internal storage, APK, settings, enable, install, and that's it, I suppose. Go back, open, and you could now see it's now up and running. Just keep in mind that it does not have Zygist. You have to flash the Zygist next or the re module separately. And apart from that, you have to manually give the root access to all the apps. You will not get any super user access manually, so please, Give the root access from here only. For example, let me show you. Enable this toggle. And now if you type in the SU command, you will easily get the root access. ADB shell. Okay, first I have to enable USB debugging as well. That will take a few seconds. Settings about device. Build number seven times. System dev options. You could now see these UI has also changed to Android 16. For example, all of them are now in the separate sections. This is something similar to Android 16, not exactly similar, but somewhat similar as you could see. The This is the first section, the debugging is the second section. All of them now have their own toggles as well, the, the cross and the tech toggle. This is from the Android 16 style only. These have been changed, but that's just about it in the change. Anyway, enable shell, SU, and you could now see, we're now inside the SU access. So you will have to e manually give the root access from here only. And okay, now let's talk about flashing via the recovery method. In that case, you will have to download the recovery ROM from here. The recovery ROM is this one wherein there is no recovery keyword. Then also download all the five files. Please don't use the ABL file. Get all these five files and transfer the five files and the ROM inside the folder of platform tools, which is over here. Transfer the files over here and the ROM file as well. Then boot up into the fast boot mode. And from the fast boot mode, use the following five commands to flash the five files. Then use the command fast boot reboot recovery. You will be inside the watchdog recovery. From there, first do a format data. Then do an ADB sideload of the ROM zip file and once again do a format data and after that choose advance and re reboot to recovery and then once again do an ADB sideload of the ROM zip file. We are doing so because this will flash the ROM across both the slot A and slot B. This is a must. So after doing an ADB sideload of the ROM zip file, do a format data and again do go to advance reboot to recovery and once again flash the ROM zip file via the ADB sideload and only then choose reboot system. It's quite a lengthy approach that is why i've told you to simply use the firewood method it's quite a handy and easy one so guys on that note i round up this video as and when there is a new rom update i will write all the updates over here as well i want to keep a track of what's all changing for now it's a still it's still quite an early phase and there is not many android 16 style features so if you want you may now wait for the timing as well or you could try it out as well and on that note we round up this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.